Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to replace your uh, assumingly faulty igniter at your Mazda 6 GGGY models from 2002 till 2008. If you have a low beam failure and you you found find out that your faulty part is your xenon igniter, then you are in a big trouble. I mean. Uh, because you cannot straight replace this part you will you will have to remove the lens you will have to open the headlight and remove the remove the faulty igniter and replace it it's not a simple operation most uh, basically mazda treats these parts as non-replaceable parts so according to mazda it's better for you if you have a faulty igniter then replace all the headlight assuming that you found a replacement igniter and you want to replace your faulty igniter inside your headlight i will show you how to do that in short as uh, showed you just a seconds before if you have a low beam failure either your xenon bulb d2s type your xenon igniter or your ballast unit is faulty now we assume that our faulty part is the xenon igniter whether you have a def deformed socket igniter socket connector or you have a uh, wiring problem just like this one i will show you how to replace your xenon igniter first you have to remove these clips there are a couple of clips around the headlight you have to remove them you can use flathead screwdriver and there is the last one inside it's better to remove also the indicator socket now i will use a heat gun to open the headlight but you can also use a, your oven in order to heat your headlight just be careful not to overheat the headlight in order not to deform it basically this uh, plastic the plastic casing is uh, worn at these headlights and they are very prone to damage so if you broke them at some point it's not that important it's more important to seal it back properly
this is one of the most e easiest headlights to replace the lens because the sealant that is used at these headlights are is soft one and with a simple heating you can see that it's very prone to open you can do it very easily at domestic conditions you don't have you don't need any specific tools to do that as you can see you can remove the headlight lens very easily now i want to show you the igniter the igniter is located at the bottom of your of the headlight you will see that there are two screws at each side of the igniter and basically in order to remove and replace the igniter you need also to re remove the headlight projector in order to remove the headlight projector safely and not to break the holders projector holders it's recommended to hit them properly just again be careful not to overheat you can remove it even with with hand here let me not risk and heat a little bit more now it should be okay here it comes out easily you have a one wire here grounding wire just remove it remove the igniter connector and here this is your low beam projector and assuming that this is the faulty igniter you will need t20 there is a socket also here tripping socket you have to remove it as well and then you will need t20 torques to remove the screws yeah Here, nothing special we assume that this headlight igniter with a part number 1307329080 is faulty by the way as stated in my previous videos you can find exactly this igniter at bmw e46 models with tripping igniters it's just the same igniter is used also at the mazda 6 models if you can easily source it uh, you can use also the compact uh, models of bmw e46 assuming that this is the faulty one and assuming that you find the exact uh, exact igniter and you want to place it back you just have to follow the all these steps back backwards you have to do undo all these steps until now i will not fix it there because i will use these headlights as a donor headlight to repair another one that's why i will not put back the igniter 
just I will put back the projector and I want to show you first of all the most important thing that when fitting back the igniter is putting the don't forget to put the uh, headlight leveling motor tip back to its place here you have a, a headlight motor and don't forget to insert the headlight tip back to its place which is here first you have to put the headlight le leveling tip back and then you will press the projector arms back now assuming that you already put the working igniter back and then you put the uh, headlight uh, projector back following by not forgetting the to put the leveling motor uh, back in place then you have to put also the ground cable back which is under the projector now it's okay then just make sure that your sealant is enough and not that dry before putting back the lens if you see that your sealant is not proper is and it's not uh, it's uh, somehow uh, is dry in coat you can also put some silicone butyl additional butyl when you fixing the uh, putting back the headlight projector in this case as i stated I will use this headlight as a donor headlight to repair another one and I will not bother to put some sealant back but it's always recommended to put although minimal quantity some butyl sealant back and here there is enough butyl but as I stated I will not put all of them back I just want to make the point and draw the attention if you find out that the old sealant is not proper then you can use additional one before putting back the lens you have to uh, reheat again the casing As stated, this headlight removal, uh, lens removal replacement is very easy to do because the silicone used here is soft one and it's very easy to operate. As stated, since I will use this headlight as a donor headlight, I will not try to fix the fix the headlight altogether just wanted to show you how to do that back if I were you as stated I will always use additional butyl to reseal it I will leave it like this for the reason I mentioned and then you have to put back the clips I 
I guess that's all for igniter replacement. Guys, if you have any questions regarding this headlight, please feel free to write down in the comment section. Ask your questions there. I will try to reply to all of you. Thanks for watching guys. All the best. Bye for now.